fact number one when a person have those bad thoughts crossing his or her mind and he feels bad about it that's a good sign what is so good about it that the person is a believer he recognizes that those bad thoughts about Allah, about uh, Jannah, about Nar, about the Prophet are from a shaitan. And that's why he detests them, he rejects them, and he's asking, he's worried. So if it is mere whispers from a shaitan, guess what? It even happened to some of the companions of the Prophet wasallam. When those thoughts came to them from shaitan, who created this, who created that, and they answer, Allah, 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 then he says, and who created Allah? So the Prophet وسلم, when some of them said, Ya Rasulullah, sometimes we have some bad thoughts that we cannot even talk about them. He said, Awaqad wajattumu, do you really find that sometimes? He said, yes. He said, that's a sign of Iman. Because shaitan is not going to whisper to a disbeliever in respect of disbelief or polytheism. It's going to whisper to a believer. So if this is the case, it would be very sufficient to seek refuge with Allah and dismiss the thought. The Almighty Allah said twice in the Quran, once in Surah Al-A'raf, Ayah number 200, and once in Surah Fussilat, وَإِمَّا يَنْزَغَنَّكَ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ نَزْغٌ فَاسْتَعِذْ بِاللَّهِ In Fussilat, إِنَّهُ هُوَ السَّمِيعُ الْعَلِيمُ Every time Satan whispers to you with evil thought that crosses your mind, it would be sufficient to say, أَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ Even if it happens inside namaz or the prayer itself, but sometimes, Brother Ahmed, it is actually beyond that. More than the just mere thoughts and uh, disturbing thoughts about Allah or about belief and the hereafter. Sometimes it is actually something called OCD. And that immediately requires medical attention. And many times I said, visit an a psychiatrist doesn't mean that I'm insane or I'm losing it, I need some medical attention. It requires taking certain medication to overcome the OCD, the obsessive compulsive disorder, for instance, if it is not limited to the religious thoughts. So if simply saying, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Ar-Rajeem, blowing tries and moving on, and Alhamdulillah wa Shukrillah, that will not affect your Iman. And you will not be blameworthy for those thoughts which cross your mind because you dismiss them, you detest them, you hate them, and they keep invading your privacy. You're not blameworthy. If subhanAllah simply saying, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Ar-Rajeem, make you overcome that, then no problem. Otherwise, trust me, it is perfectly okay to visit a psychiatrist and to pursue it from a medical perspective.